Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jen J, and we're back with another video. And this one's going to be all about the protective style challenge because it's happening. We're growing some hair. Let's go. Okay, so... If you haven't noticed, I got my hair braided. Ooh. Okay, let's just start with hair because I mean <laughs> I braided my hair myself on my birthday January 19th say happy birthday say it say it leave a comment below and Yeah, I literally spent my day doing my hair and you know what it was a good day I literally spent my birthday doing a little bit of everything that I like it was great it really was. I woke up super late not super late. I woke up maybe around 11 so I had over eight hours of sleep Stan made me breakfast, we watched an anime, and then finished dip conditioning my hair, I washed, I detangled, I braided it, and then we went out for dinner, then we went to the movies. Like, it was a full day, but it was a little bit of everything that I like, so it was really good. I am officially in the Dirty 30 crew, and I'm excited. I am so excited to grow older. I've never been one of those people that was scared of getting old and really I don't feel old. Old is a mentality, okay? I feel so young in my mind. Up there, I am 21. But anyway, let's, <laughs> oh, we just literally changed the subject so smoothly. We're no longer talking about hair. What happened? So yes, I got my hair, I braided my hair. My, every time I see I got my hair braided, it, makes, it sounds like I, you know, got somebody else to do it, but no, your girl did this herself. Oh, it's coming undone. I have a confession. I did not put my hair in hot water and I planned on doing that, but I was pressed for time yesterday. My birthday was yesterday, by the way. I should have because some of these braids are, I don't want them to come undone because I took my time to braid all the way to the end, okay? So I will show you guys what hair I use in a second. Hold up, let me finish this braid. And I'm so proud of myself because I did my hair with these long ass nails. Like, it was a struggle, let me tell you that. Yes, it took me five hours to do my hair, which isn't bad. Honestly, it's not bad at all. I thought it was gonna take longer, especially because I braided these all the way to the end. But yeah, it took me five hours. I started at 2.30 and I was done at 7.40. The hair, let me show you the hair. I'm gonna show you the hair now because I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions. So this is Easy Kima Twin. I guess, anyway, so it looks like this. There is two bundles in one pack, which is why I like this. And the other reason why I love this hair is because it's already feathered at the end. So you don't need to do anything. You just start braiding. It's really soft, and I've been using this hair for a little bit, to be honest. It's affordable. This pack cost me $6.99, and that's saying a lot because I'm in Canada, and apparently hair is super expensive over here. I, I don't... Uh, anyways, I use two packs like this and an extra bundle. So, if you were to count one of these, I use one, two, three, four, five bundles. That was enough to give me a nice full look. I didn't do the braids too, too small because one thing I realized when I do my hair myself is, or like when other people's done my hair in the past and I compared the two, I don't like super tiny braids. One, because it takes forever, but that's not the point. Two, it's because it, of the tension that it adds to your scalp. My scalp has been extremely sensitive lately. I don't know what's going on. I think it's just, you know, as you grow older, things change. I don't think it's something bad that's going on with my scalp. I just think that I'm very tender-headed now. If I am to compare myself when I was 15, 16, I used to destroy my hair. I used to get it braided so tightly and I was taking it. I It was okay. My hair was probably falling out, but I never got like bald spots or anything from braiding my hair too tight. Fast forward to now, I can't take it. Nope, your girl can't take it. So I feel more comfortable doing my hair myself anyway because of that, because you know, you can control how tight your braids are when you do it yourself. And also when it comes to my edges, I can really control where I place the braid. And that's important because you know, people would destroy your edges and you will have nothing left. However, 
when you do your hair yourself if you notice I don't do the braids around my edges too small and I also don't put too much hair within the braid itself so this doesn't put a lot of tension on my edges and the size of the braids so they're decent size they're not too big they're not too small I didn't do it too tight so it's okay I think they look so cute <laughs> I also make sure that I moisturize my hair very well before I got them braided. So I pre poo wash my hair, I dip condition, moisturize, and then got my hair braided. So it was a whole weekend thing. <laughs> it's all filmed, so don't worry. These videos should be coming up soon. But I just wanted to give you guys an update on the challenge, what's going on with my hair. So my hair is braided for the second time so far. Keep in mind, it's because I started two weeks earlier. I started December 21st, so I took my hair out this weekend, and also it was my birthday, you know, I had to do something with myself. I should update you on what I did in January. I am ashamed to say that I did not moisturize my hair at all during the month of January when I had the twist in. I didn't do anything at all to my hair, to be honest. My hair was just braided, and that's it. I did not sleep with a satin bonnet when I went to bed. I didn't moisturize my hair. I didn't really take, I didn't do anything to my scalp. However, I was pretty good with my health and fitness in a sense. So I've been drinking my green juice every morning. I drink two liters of water a day and I go to the gym. So I've been pretty good in that area, but not so much in taking care of my hair. However, I can tell you, being consistent with eating well and working out and drinking water pays off because when I took out my twist, my hair was super like moisturized. It wasn't bad at all. Like My ends were a little on the dry side, but my hair overall was pretty good. And I think it's because I've been drinking a lot of water. So it's not only good for your skin and hair, it's also good for you. I am reaping the benefits of drinking a lot of water. I think that is about it. There is a hashtag for the challenge in case you want to tag me on Instagram on your pictures and stuff. If you want to talk to me or you can post them on the Facebook group, all of that information will be down below. Let me know how you're doing in the challenge. Let me know what's happening with your hair. Personally, I'm doing good. So that is it for me. Let me know how you're doing with the challenge and if you are doing well, if you're consistent, if you're growing some hair, let me know and I will see you guys in my next one. If you have any requests for videos that you want to see from me, don't forget to leave it down below. And if you watch this video and made it this far and did not subscribe, I don't know what to tell you. With that said, I'm going to get up out of here and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.